When the heliotrope starts growing among rough rocks and the full moon shines at night, in a certain area of the earth, a man turns into a wolf. and all your crew disappearing forever. They're buried under the snow. Fortunately, it was just a wound. Poor dear, how you must have suffered. of the skull are not clearly defined, but if one day they should acquire the shape of a pentagraph, open this box, inside you will find the remedy for this illness. If after seven full moons nothing happens, destroy the box without opening it. all around us. Then suddenly I was attacked by that strange creature. And then, I don't know, I walked, walked, walked. But my friends, where are they? We haven't found them, and they will probably never be found. They have been swallowed up by the mountain. And the monster? It was a yeti, but that's impossible. I'm a scientist, and these things don't exist. It was hallucination, that's all. Yes, 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 uh, but now calm yourself. Probably it was only that, yes, an hallucination, yes, yes. <laughs> if one day they won't acquire the shape of a pentagram, <laughs> When I finished my examination, I talked to the examiner.
All that's been explained leads to one conclusion. It's possible to create a human zebor by using waves of a determined frequency on the brain. Then it will be possible to vary the genotype of an individual to create a being in the laboratory. In that case, its reactions could be controlled. Is it possible? We can wiggle that far. Now, humanity could profit greatly by that. And then would be able to cure brains damaged by insanity. Control all emotion. In one word, resolve all the unknown concerning man. That is all. Miss Karen here, my assistant, is at your disposal. Now she will take notes of any doubts you might have. See you Monday. Excuse me, is there any proof to what she has said? It's a fact. And even though the technique involved isn't sufficiently advanced, it's just a question of time. <gasps> Anything wrong, Professor? No, nothing. You may all leave. I was very surprised when you called me. What seems to be the problem with the strange illness of yours? It's incredible. Here is where you'll find the explanation. Give it to me. I'll expect you tonight at my apartment to give you the reply. Oh, will that be sufficient? This illness came from Tibet. Anything can happen there. Strange things that science can explain or admit for now. Very strange. It's like a challenge. It was an isolated spot and quite high. I don't know whether I dreamt it or not. They talked to me of humans that at the full moon change personalities. Those are only legends. Are they? See you later. All right. Are you all right, Professor? Oh, it's nothing. You've taken up your classes too soon, perhaps. Could be. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Karen, for your interest. Uh, pardon, Professor. This letter just came. It's urgent, but I didn't want to interrupt class. Thanks, Clark. Professor? Yes? If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a question. What, Karen? I've been wanting to talk to you for some time. It's just, I'm a bit worried about the work the doctor's doing. But why? It's like entering a territory that's forbidden. Forbidden? Yes. It's almost as though we were trying to play with mankind's deepest feelings. Almost against nature. Now, don't worry. The doctor's only trying to help mankind through science. My mind is more at ease now that you've told me about it. You know how much I admire you. See you later. having an affair with one of your pupils. The next time you're supposed to go to Kingstonville, pretend to leave and then watch your house. And then you'll be convinced of what I'm telling you is true.
there? Answer. Are you there? You're in agreement about the brakes, right? I am. It's the only solution. You have to understand. Say something. We're going to meet at our usual place. Unfaithful to me. Unfaithful. Unfaithful. Unfaithful! to be like that. Yes. We couldn't just see each other three times a week. The nights when your husband had his classes at the university. Stop torturing yourself. I only wish that that storm that ruined the expedition would have, have killed him and left us both free. He was the only one left alive. We can't continue talking about the past. And now? Now the only thing we have to do is be together. We must never separate. And if something happens? Don't you worry. It's impossible. Let's sit down, shall we? I don't want to be late for the meeting, William. There's time enough. And I see you so little. <laughs> you see me almost every day. Uh, but for so little time. I'm here to work hard. You know how I feel about psychiatry. And that's more important to you than I am, isn't that true? Oh, please, William, we always get back to the same subject. Before we get married, I want you to know that the degree is important to me. If you don't stand in my way now, I'll have it in a few more months. You know, I'd never stand in your way. Uh, I've come from Balin. It's only that my parents have sacrificed so much just so I could study with Dr. Elman. I'm sorry, Karen. But I just don't like that, Doctor. <laughs> You're jealous and also a little selfish. No. It's not that exactly. It's just that... <gasps> oh, William. <laughs> Erica! 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 Yes? Here's the license plate. Fine. No trace of the occupants. Hmm. It's an accident that's very strange. There's a killer, and there must also be a victim. Our problem now is to find them both. Believe me, we'll find them. I didn't know you lived together. Yes. We keep each other company. I have to talk to you alone. Uh, I'll put away that medicine kit. Well, we're all alone now. Better tell me what you wanted to say. Eric has been cheating. The accident was all fixed. It's what they wanted. I suppose in saying they, 
You're referring to your dear wife and her lover. You knew about it. The husband is always the last person to hear all the secrets. Walter, you've got to get a hold of yourself. I tell you she's not worth it. I don't want you to destroy yourself. It doesn't matter now. Her love was the only thing that gave me strength to fight against this battle that's kept raging. Now, Walter, the... listen to me. I swear to you, I'll operate and I can cure you. Can you really? Only you know my secret. For the sake of the love we had for each other. Please do it. Yes, I promise you. But you have to promise to act like a real man. Ilona, I thought you had gone to your room. No. I wanted to talk to you. You probably do. I suppose you've been listening. <gasps> I don't have to listen behind any walls to know that you've been disappointed by this man and that's why you're always so sad. Why don't you just admit it? <clears throat> oh, Karen. Oh, Karen, please forgive me. Madam, supper is served and everything is in order. If you don't mind, we'd like to go now. It's a long way to the village and tonight there is a bad storm. Very well, you may go. Oh, I forgot to tell you that Peter was here. You know, the telephone man. He said the storm wrecked the post and positively you won't have any light tonight. See you tomorrow, madam. Good night. me. You weren't expecting me, were you? Well, I come back to you. And tonight our love will be stronger than ever. Erica, you're mine. Why can't you realize it? For you, I'd die a million times just so that you'd love me.
Just arrived. Hmm. I've just been thinking about it. It seems curious that in just a few hours, the same person who had an accident dies under strange circumstances. I'll investigate. I think we're going to have an article of real importance here. Yeah. The two lovers dead. Professor Waterman, while running away, died electrocuted. If this death seems strange, it's no more mysterious than the horrible wounds found on the cadavers of the wife and on the young man. The police are waiting for the autopsy. What are you thinking about? I'm leaving for Duplin. I'll return tomorrow. In the meantime, you prepare your things. You may have to come with me. To Duplin? What for? I'll repeat it once more, that the control of the cerebral cortex and the hypothalamus is always possible through using chemotrodes. Recent experiments have demonstrated up to what point it's possible to direct the human brain in any direction we wish. Needless to say, the wave scent could cause or create sensations that up to now, of course, are still unknown and reactions unforeseeable. That is all. Now I would like to ask you for a moment of silence in memory of Professor Daninsky, our famous collaborator. Come in. Thank you for receiving me. Please sit down. I'll try to be brief. As you're aware, the death of Professor Daninsky occurred under very unusual circumstances. All of which leads us to the belief that it wasn't just a mere accident. Well, what can I do? I don't know. Anything you can tell me will be a great deal of help. For example, his investigations, his travels. You know, the doctor's specialties and investigations were ample. The nervous system, neurovegetation, and metabolism. He was a genius. I don't think his investigations had anything to do with his death. Any information would be a great help to us. Yes, of course. Recently, he returned from an expedition, a scientific one of which he was the only surviving member. And to be truthful, I noticed something strange. How's that? Oh, he seemed a little nervous and ill at ease. from Tibet shows very clearly he cannot really die except under special conditions which did not occur in what happened last night. 
Everything is going perfectly. Where can I find Dr. Elman? Oh, yes. Ask her assistant, Miss Curran. Excuse me. If possible, I'd like some information about the studies of Professor Elman. Basically, her work involves chemtrodes. Obviously, you don't know anything about this, so let me put it more simply. It's an attempt by science to dominate humanity through the absolute control of the brain. Chemotropes. Chemotropes. is dominated. Take him away. This is all very strange. Can you explain it? There's nothing to explain, really. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm going on a trip. A trip? Where? I don't know. I don't know, Bill. Ah, nothing more. You're going on a trip, and you don't know why, and you don't even know where. This woman has absolute influence over you, Karen. Please don't take it so seriously. All right, I promise. I really don't like farewells like this. It's so hard to let you go, Karen. I'll miss you. And you know it. I'll write you. Yes, of course you will. Said I want to be with you, that's all. Hello? Yes. No, nothing. Yes, of course I hear you. Yes, of course. Whatever you want. Yes, yes, I'm ready. I I'm leaving right now. Goodbye.
Yes, it's Waterman. His heart is very weak. But do you think that... Don't touch him. But... And now his heart will strengthen when he receives electrical waves. And his mind will reach limits that are superhuman. This is all very dangerous. Now watch him. This is Karen, a new friend for you. These are Hetty and Barbara. Both came from the faculty in Newland. They'll help us. It seems that these underground cellars are housed with all kinds of surprises. The experiments that we shall do here will revolutionize science. This is what I've been preparing you for all these years. Look after Walterman. Have you heard about what happened in the cemetery? Yeah, I heard about that and much more. The strange thing is that they stole the cadaver of Professor Daninsky. You'd be surprised to know what I think of all this, Meryl. What? You'll know soon enough, Meryl. I gotta go now. I'll be back soon. William, you should be very careful. Any authorization to be on this property? Look, I'm a reporter. I know that. Well, then? That is no justification for breaking and entering. Mind you, I have to see some kind of authorization. Being involved in a case of this nature is something that should only concern the police. There's some papers that I... That Did you find for? them? You know that I didn't. What about the library? Nothing there? What's that suggest? that you have been in the library, that you have asked for anything having to do with chemitrodes, that you were interested in all studies by Dr. Helmut Wolfstein. That's not any crime. No. I also know that you've been studying up on the legends of Tibet. And the professor came back from an expedition in Tibet. I think you should stay out of all this. Sorry, it's part of my job. And also mine. I'd like to hear your theory. They're just conjectures. If I get something, you'll know about it. There's another thing that ties you into this case. Your relationship with Karen, who works with Dr. Elona, and who is involved in the investigations of Dr. Daninsky. Karen hasn't anything to do with this. She's only a student. A student who has disappeared along with the doctor. They're working together. Where? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Seem logical she'd go off without telling you where? No, it doesn't, but that's the way it is. Anything else? No, not for the moment. Some screaming. You know you can't come in here. But really, 
What is the doctor trying to do? She just works for science. And what about those human beings? This is just the first step. Don't, don't continue. To be a student of the doctor, you need more guts. You see, nature is all. The earth, moon, air, the sun. Yes, but also darkness and destruction. You say that, then there is nothing, nothing. Yes, but you don't understand. Everything that's been going on around here is much more like witchery, and I don't see anything scientific about human beings suffering. What can that be? Well, isn't this scientific? They're neither animals nor plants, for now. But after the doctor's preliminary phase, they'll be authentical mutants. And always they'll live in darkness. No, no, I don't want to go on listening to this. This can't be scientific. This can't be scientific. I don't want to... Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We have nothing yet. You told us you'd tell us. Tell us, tell us, tell us about the case. What fools. We know nothing about the case yet. There are lots of circumstances to take into consideration. <sighs> Too many. Let's get out of here, William. It's quite obvious they're going to tell us nothing about the case. Well, I think we should forget about the investigation made by the commissioner. Our problem lies in what's being kept from us by a bunch of old fogey scientists. Will we get results? That's my hope. The chemitroids will act on the hypothalamus and destroy those instincts of his which are destructive. This way we can direct his thought and dominate his will. We have to wait for the next full moon. Elona, who was that man wearing the rubber mask? A sick man, just like the rest of them. Like the rest? Those drug people who live under your protection, like animals. I can make them human beings again, Karen. I can cure them, you see. They're my patients, and they trust me, all of them. I don't know. At times, I think that all of them, Walterman, Hetty, these wanderers, and even me, all of us are just guinea pigs for your experiments. What are you saying, Karen? You know me very well. Do you think me capable of such a thing? was just a small one. The dilation of the iris didn't reach the limits we'd hoped for. All right. Ha, <laughs> 
have you given me life? you to listen carefully to this, Daninsky. It's very important to see the effects of my work. Answer me when I talk to you. All right, now. Tell me if you hear this. Can you talk? this number immediately. Back there. Hello? Yes? Hello? Hello? make an attempt. Tell us what you know. Who or what killed him? It's useless. We found this piece of cloth in the victim's hand. Hurry and let the bloodhound smell it.
Правда? We've lost the trail, Hank. What should we do? Continue. I'll be away a few days. You know what you have to do with Walderman. Where are you going? I need some more supplies to continue my experiments, Karen. Tell me what you really want to do. What about Walderman? Tell me what you're planning to do. It seems, from what I can see, you've become very preoccupied with Janinsky. You know about my investigations. And if I succeed, all of the violence, all the instincts that are lack of love, will disappear. Mankind is wrong in its thinking. And these things will change. You're very young, and you don't understand these things. But I... And now, my dear, you're going to obey like a nice girl. And don't meddle in my affairs. Is that clear?
Where's Alona? What have they done to me? Ilona's not here. Only you and I trapped in this awful place. There's no way we can get out. All this time, I don't know. Where have I been? I vaguely remember horrible things. Violence, danger. Ilona has controlled your will. She has dominated you. And I... She also had control over me. I'm so ashamed. Let's get out. There must be some way. No way. I've tried. Well, we'll try together. There must be some way. sealed. If I could force the door. So strange, she said, that she was going to leave with you. To me, it was all to the contrary. She mentioned something about spending her vacation with you. Oh, well, I don't think there's anything to worry about. She's probably going to Balin to visit her parents. You'll see, she'll show up. Probably, it's exactly as you say. But I think I'll try calling her house anyway. And thinking over everything that's happened, just about anything is possible. Mm. The way you're talking, you're beginning to worry me. I'll wait another day. If she doesn't return, then I'll call the police. Doctor, the police are here. Doctor? You here? Yeah. And I just found out that Karen isn't with Dr. Alona any longer. Any idea where she might be? No, but I see nothing for you to worry about. Maybe not. But I'd like to ask you some questions. Wait outside. Yeah. All right, Mother. And please don't publish any more articles like I've seen today. 
There's no cause for the public to be alarmed. But you know I'm a... A reporter. And you're the only reporter that knows everything about the case, all the details. Now, just be patient. All right. I'll try. Thank you. Sit down there, sir, if you like. These are mere formalities, questions I didn't get around to asking you because of your trip. Go on. It's about the last happenings. just recently been painted. It could be a way out. Stand it anymore. It's not fair keeping them locked up in here like beasts. But it could be dangerous, Karen. They're not normal. No, me they trust. Help me, will you, while alone is gone? Kind to all of us. It's Ilona and the rest are the enemies. destroyed either by another beast or at the hands of a woman who loves me enough to kill me using a silver bullet. She must put that bullet through my heart. That woman exists, I want you to know. I would die for you.
it's useless. All the doors are barred with steel. This is a real fortress. Have you thought of Ilona? Her room. Maybe we'll find something there that will help us. We'll smash down the door. Come on. Congress and Burn, 1933. Diary. Eva Wolfstein. Keatsburg, the 26th of April, 1967. Walterman has finally made a definite decision to marry Erica Wilson. Nothing I said could change his mind, even reminding him of the marvelous love we had for three years. The 8th of October. Progress is going slowly but firmly. I can already control the cerebral cortex and occasionally the hypothalamus of Erica Elmer. Very soon I'll do the same thing with the inferior side of the hypothalamus. Also, I have found the ideal person for the rest of my plans. It's a student, Neville Yates, and soon I'll bring out between Erica and Neville an uncontrollable love that will end in adultery. 3rd of March, 1968. Everything is going as I expected. The waves of the transmitter directs to perfection the minds of Neville and Erica. Now it's possible for me to totally control the emotions of both. The chemotrodes have been an absolute success. The experiences that my father started in Bailen are now reality. I have confirmed his incredible theory. 3rd of November, 1970. Something extraordinary has happened. Walterman has just revealed to me something incredible. He thinks he's been cursed by a werewolf. I will make a reality out of this. He will kill his wife and then commit suicide.
All you have. Give me a beer. From the castle? Yes. Uh-huh. How'd you happen to know that? Oh, we're pretty far off the road, you know. Only the village people come here and sometimes guests from the castle. They come frequently? No. It's just that recently there's a lot of action. Can you tell me about it? Oh, there's a lot of cars late at nights. Without lights. I'm just curious. Maybe you'll tell me something about it. Over there is Frederick. He'll tell you about it. Thanks. <laughs> you Frederick? Yeah. Sorry if I'm bothering you, but I'd like some information about the castle, the Wolfstein one. Like what? Well, I'm not sure, really, but I think what goes on up there affects me directly. I'm a reporter, you know. It's a castle I wouldn't want to go near. Why not? Everything. It's all isolated. So sinister. When Helmut Wolfstein was alive, my parents worked there. Wolfstein? Yes, he was the owner. And now? The property is his daughter's. His daughter's? Yes, yeah, she's a doctor, professor at the University of Kitzburg. Thanks. This is William. I made some investigations, and there's not the least doubt in my mind. Elona Elman and Abel Wolstein are the same person. It's impossible. I swear it. The daughter of Wolstein, who murdered doctors? Yes, Dr. Wolstein, the neurologist famous for his experiments on the functioning of the human brain. He sacrificed a lot of people in those experiments. I know. The police caught up with him. He locked himself in his laboratory and set fire to it. The house was reduced to ashes entirely. That's it. That's the one. And it's his daughter, Ilona, that's behind all of the strange things that have been taking place around there. Uh -huh. Your findings coincide almost exactly with ours. I have followed the doctor all the way up to the Blue Valleys, and she's gone on to Brennan. The ancient house of the Wolfsteins. That's it. It's all there. Now listen, do nothing. I'll be right there. until dawn. Anyway, we're ahead of the others. Maybe we ought to stop and wait for them. No, we've got to get there as soon as possible. I fear the worst. What happened? K Karen freed them. She did it. And Haltemann killed your father.
Karen. If it's Karen you're looking for, she's in my power. You'd better do everything I tell you if you ever want to see her again, Waterman. With his knowledge of science, he's given me infinite power. I can turn it into this. Or into anybody else. Or anything at all. I could destroy anything that could separate us. And you. You all say for myself. For me. The moon will be full soon, you'll see. And you'll change. And then, beloved prisoner of mine, you'll find that I've prepared two surprises. Ilona, this madness and perversity will turn against you. Very soon you'll be the beast that I dominate. And I'll have you always as a man. I'll have you always. <clears throat> it's your beloved Erica. I've taken her back from the grave. She is as well, my prisoner. But there's something else. When you clawed through her throat, you also clawed through her heart. And so the curse that you brought back with you from Tibet has been transferred to her now. My next victim. Hello. Ah. William, it took you long enough. Just be patient. Karen's with the professor. I'll go along with you. I know all the entrances to the castle. Okay, come on. It's Karen. So pure. So ingenuous. So young. Such perfection, just like a goddess. And you are going to destroy her, but only after finishing with Erica. <laughs> Uh, Erica, here's your dear husband, your monster, and his sweetheart, Karen. He murdered yours. He killed your dear man. And besides, he transmitted his curse and has made you a monster. <laughs> door we can force our way through. And inside? There's a chance that main door may be open. We've got to take the risk. That's what I think. Come on, hurry it up. We've got to open this door. Stand still. Now let's see if you show love or hate. The choice is up to you now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Marco. A man now. Kill her. Not even the most fervent imagination could conceive of half of the horrors that we've seen. And I'm still convinced when we're through with all this, it was those poor freaks. They were used as guinea pigs in order that Wolfstein could exercise his madness on them. And it was backed up by his daughter, Ava. Please, let's try to forget about it so Karen can too. Look, what a beautiful day it is. <laughs> 